Once you have created a layout tab and you have configured the page setup for the desired printer and paper size, the next thing you want to do is to prepare that layout or paper for printing or plotting. Click the Furniture Plan tab to access that layout. Here you can see a viewport, which provides a window that looks back into model space. When you select the border of the viewport, it highlights and you see grips. You can then click one of the corner grips to select it, and then move that grip to resize the viewport. When you click the square grip in the center of the viewport to make it the hot grip, you can then move the viewport. And when you click the triangular grip, the program displays a menu so you can select the viewport scale. Press Escape to close that menu. You can also erase a viewport. With the viewport still selected, press the Delete key. Keep in mind you have only just erased the viewport. Switch back to the Model tab. You can see that all the geometry is still in the drawing. All you did was delete the viewport from the Furniture Plan layout. By default, whenever you switch to a new layout, the program automatically creates a new viewport. You can change this behavior so that each new layout starts out as a blank sheet of paper, or you can simply erase the default viewport as you just did. Switch back to the Furniture Plan layout. Now that you have a blank sheet of paper, you can add a border and title block. Although you could draw that each time you create a new layout, most users find it much easier to create and save their standard borders and title blocks as separate drawings that they can then insert onto the sheet whenever they create a new layout. It is also a good idea to place the border and title block on its own layer so that you can control the visibility of the border and title block separate from the rest of the drawing. To do this, expand the Layer Properties Manager palette. Create a new layer. Name that layer Title Block. And make it the current layer. Open the Select Color dialog. Select Blue so that the layer has a distinctive color for the purpose of this lesson, and click OK. Now you are ready to add the title block. In this case, someone has already created and saved a drawing of the title block. On the Insert ribbon, in the Block panel, click the Insert tool to open the Insert dialog. Click Browse. Navigate to the folder containing the drawing 16 underscore a underscore size dot dwg. Select it and click open. In the insert dialog, in the insertion point group box, select specify on screen. In the scale group box, make sure that all the values are set to 1. And in the rotation group box, make sure that the angle is set to zero. Then click OK. The program prompts you to specify the insertion point, and as you move the cursor, you can see a preview of the border and title block. Make sure that it is inside the printable area, which is indicated by the dashed line, and then click to insert the block. You do not need to be precise. You can always adjust it later. Since this particular title block drawing includes attributes, the program displays the Edit Attributes dialog so that you can fill in the title block information. Once you have finished entering the sheet size, which is A, your name, and the name of the drawing, Furniture Plan, click OK. 
As soon as you do, the border and title block appear on the sheet. The title block you just added only exists on the furniture plan layout. Click the Model tab to switch back to Model Space. You do not see the title block. Click the Layout 1 tab. You do not see the title block there either. The title block was added in Paperspace and only exists on the Furniture Plan layout.